What's up, everybody? I put in the community statement that I wasn't really going to talk about uh, this whole George Floyd and this rioting Black Lives Matter situation, but I'm being compelled to come forth and share with you guys from a unique perspective, and that is from an astral, physical, political, economic so on and so forth because they are all connected. Now right away I can tell you off the bat that there's a lot of fear, a lot of desperation, there's jealousy, there's envy, there's more fear, there's desperation, there are those who are trying to cover their asses, there are those who are desperately trying to hold on to power here and beyond the veil, meaning the astral or physical plane. This is where I bring my own unique perspective to all this. Now, when one sees from the astral or the spiritual plane, where there's still people to this day think it doesn't exist, but when you see from this perspective, you see everything with so much more clarity. You don't get as emotionally invested. The fear is rooted out of not knowing or not knowing any better or think you know and telling others that you know and thus in your ignorance or not knowing just pushing and promoting even more fear and confusion. Now there's a lot of confusion around this and some of it is absolutely orchestrated and some of it is people speaking out of fear, ego, and desperation and clout for views and all that. Y'all know I've never been about that because if it was about views, I would stay talking about what's trending and what's popular. But I told you guys and I'll keep saying it, usually what is pushed, what is heavily promoted is serving an agenda. That's why I don't harp on that train. But in this case, I'm going to make an exception. And let me tell you why. First of all, from an astral point of view, there have been warring going on in the astral plane. I've been there. I've seen it, okay? And there are those who are still continuing the war. From an astral plane perspective, those who have been dominating and ruling for a very long time have already lost. Now, here is why on the physical plane, which would be considered the equivalent of the superficial, on the surface, with the, the level that they want to keep everybody looking at because this is the plane of which people can be basically manipulated and triggered by way of emotions and deep-seated wounds that have never healed. And you can manipulate anything and anyone by way of the surface. Magician, magician, magicians say this all the time. I'm not going to edit this. I'm going to let it play straight through. Uh, music, magicians show us all the time how easy it is to fool the eyes. And in this day and age of uh, advanced Photoshop, CGI, they got clever filters and what you can no longer just go by what you see. So there are photos out there that have been Photoshopped. There are videos out there that are CGI already with this, uh, you know, these apparitions showing up in the sky. Some of that is CGI, some of that is uh, primitive holographic technology. And people who don't know any better would look at that and look at these things and run with it as fast. And of course, when you talk about the media, they can put out anything. Most people have been brainwashed to believe that if this is on the media, it's true. Now, let me get to the point that I'm making about seeing it from the astral plane. I have been there on the front line on the astral plane because I put on my warrior coat when I go out there and when I have been out there. And let me tell you, those who, again, have been dominating on the surface and those interdimensional beings that they work for or who are in alignment with one another, Everything that is happening is starting to break them down. The, everything they try to do or they want to do gets but so far and it crumbles. So naturally in the wake of this great awakening, there is also a desperate move to stop DNA from maturing, evolving, or mutating. And one of the ways in which this is done is by way of emotions. 
triggering people to be in fear, hatred, worrying, depression, and all this kind of stuff. That's one of the quickest ways to shut off the mind's eye. So here we have from a uh, spiritual plane, because this is spiritual warfare. One, one level of this is spiritual warfare. The next level is political gain and gain. Then you have a historical context where, again, wounds have been made, deep-seated wounds have been made, and has never been healed. Now, again, when I say we have to go skin deep on all of this, even with what seems like injustice or injustice on the surface, there is a deeper reason for it. The fear of black men goes way before slavery. And I'm, I'm not going to get into that, but it lends itself to those who are on this plane who knows the DNA and the genetics of certain beings, who they really are. The same is true with every group. Every group brings something to the table. But let's not be ignorant and in denial to um, try to throw out and, and ignore the fact that black men, black males, black male, notice that black male, what is black males usually associated with? Black males have been the most targeted group of men, especially in the most recent 400 years for degradation, the women too, but I'm, I'm, I'm specifically talking about black males since within this context, it is relevant to what is happening now. Our sisters have been attacked and brutalized by the system and unfortunately other broken, lost and confused black males. I'm just going to say it for what it is. But again, I'm going to stick to the subject matter and within the context of this dialogue or this presentation with black males. Now, a lot of black males, and I'm only using black will for it because this is what you guys most understand and in terms of the definition. Most black males are running around still have no clue, no concept, no idea of who or what they really are. But you best believe your enemy knows, all right? So, with everything that is happening with these energies hitting the planet, the Great Awakening, there are those who know that if the sleeping giant awakens, that's it. It's game over, but guess what? It's going to happen anyway. This is destiny. So. Black males are most targeted because of what has been historically and still being done to black males. So when these guys wake up and they come into their power, they're already doing it astrally. They just don't bring or have the knowledge or bring that. It hasn't manifested here because everything starts in the astral. Think of the astral plane as the blueprint or the test ground before the materialization or it materializing in the dense physical. So these brothers, I've seen them out there kicking ass with little effort at all. But the problem then becomes when, when their consciousness is shifted here from the dense physical perspective, they're caught up in all the chaos of the world. And some of them are still smoking, doing drugs, getting high, sleeping with any and everything, depleting their sexual energy. Joining these organizations that's given the illusion of inclusion, the illusion of inclusion. And truthfully, they are signing up with these organizations not knowing that they're making a contract. Remember my video, Contracts and Agreement? They, when they make oaths with these organizations who are just using them to manipulate a bigger scheme, they're at the very bottom of the totem pole. For instance, there is a difference between a Freemason and a Mason. A lot of these brothers are low-level Masons, basically pawns in the game, and most of them have no clue because they are they they don't have their mind eye activated. And so, would you make? a covenant or a contract with an organization that's giving you the illusion of inclusion and is using you 
and you forfeit your free will and your right and they get you doing all kind of things that keep you disconnected from that other multi-dimensional layer or connecting with that other dimensional layer, then that is on them. I can tell them this until I'm blue in the face, but how many of them, oh, that's crazy, oh, that's pseudo, oh, that's this, that's that, oh, he's, he, he don't know what he's talking about and all this kind of stuff. But I look at me, I'm a quote-unquote black male, I don't smoke, drink, do drugs, never had, I dealt with my stuff. I've never overexerted my sexual energy either. And I've had it harder probably than a lot of these brothers out here smoking, drinking, doing drugs to try to cope. So what am I doing that's different? The difference is I clearly know who and what I am. And I own it. Alright? And when the gods who work on our behalf, when they see that, they come in, they put cover, covenants covering over us. They protect us. They shield us. They guide us. But until then... They don't see us. They have to wait until they come into the knowing of self. So, some of these brothers have to keep getting their asses handed to them until they something finally clicks. Wait a minute, something is wrong here. We should not be doing X, Y, and Z because X, Y, and Z is just producing the same result. So, getting back to George Floyd, all right? This brother, my read on this is that this was not a bad person at all, okay? I know they're putting out stories about his past and he was on drugs and all that, but why do a lot of people, there are always exceptions to every rule, but most people get on drugs to cope and numb some kind of pain. Something they are doing or something that is on them or on their back that they cannot cope with and they're desperately trying to escape because they have not dealt with it head on and put in the work to Take it in, deal with it, neutralize it. The artificial outer stimulation of the world, women, sex, drugs, porn, all this kind of stuff, becomes a, an escapism, but that escapism is pushing and separating them further and further and further away from their true self, their greater, higher self, their soul core self. Okay? So, uh, with these people trying to paint this brother's character as if he deserved to die in that way. I don't agree with that. That is wrong. Everyone has a past. The brother was really genuinely, I, I truly sense he was trying to get his life together, but he got in bed with the devil, so to speak. Unfortunately, most of these killings sometimes is staged, it's fake, they are actors, but the ones where people are actually killed, I, can, I will bet my life on it. The majority of the time, it is someone who is either under the jurisdiction of someone who has made a contract or covenant with these secret orders, or they are related to someone who has made a contract or an agreement with a secret order, or they are being sacrificed by someone who is a part of a secret order. Again, there are always exceptions to the rule, because once we know who and what we really are, they will not have any say or dominion or any leverage on our lives whatsoever. So this is where when I had done my contracts and agreement video, I said that on behalf of humanity, there are some souls who are awakened, who have the power to neutralize contracts and covenants that was created under deceptive means. But at the same time, there are contracts and covenants that has to play out. And this one right here is one of them. This was absolutely a ritual killing. It's connected to a secret brotherhood who has uh, extremely well-connected political clout that has infiltrated every facet of society here on the surface. But remember, those who work on the surface in this regard are connected and working on behalf of interdimensional forces that most people can't see. I've seen them. I know how. I see how they work. This is why I always warn against doing drugs and getting high because what I say, when you're not in the control of your own mind, something, someone or something else will be. I've seen how these beings psychically manipulate and move players into place. 
this is very deep. It's very layered and it is very complex. And it's why the challenge for someone like me to take something with so many parts and simplify it and explain it in a way where anyone could understand. So there is a multi-dimensional purpose behind all of this. So you have low level brothers who think they are part of something big but they're just pawns and agents in the game and they're being sacrificed and used to set up to put forth an agenda to uh, with the hopes of those who are in on this to maintain their power and to create so much um, destabilization of society that martial law would be called into order and what that essentially means that everyone rights will be suspended basically these guys can go around and do whatever they want and most importantly those who are being held who are about to be held accountable on the surface level for crimes against others and humanity they will they will basically the cases will be dropped because that will mean court cases all of that go out the window so you see this political football with the Black Lives Matter. That is a political football. These people who created that don't give a damn about black lives. They don't give a damn about no one else's life but their own. And they're using white people. White people brainwashed. Black people, everybody has been brainwashed. Everybody in still, in their own way, has been used as tools and pawns in the game. Most white people, and I'm just, and some of y'all may be triggered by this, the average white person are just genetically modified black people. Now let that sink in. And then you have these non-human forces on the outside playing that brainwashing this side and pushing one small narrative, brainwashing this side, pushing one small narrative. Brainwashing this group, that group. This is why they don't want people to have an open mind. They don't want people to come together. This is why they always put these so-called uh, leaders in front of us who help to reinforce the vision. Th this all black people this, all white people are that. It's one of the reasons why y'all don't see me playing into that because I see the game for what it is. When all sides wake up and realize the game, psychological game that has been played for thousands of years, that's when we start uniting. Now here's the good news. I said that this energy that's hitting this planet is purifying, pushing a lot of stuff to the surface. No one can escape what they create and what they put out. Now, yeah, you may have your technology, your rituals and all that stuff to give you the illusion of getting away. You may escape and push stuff and move stuff around, but inevitably, our asses will be handed to us. Whatever we put out, we get back. And if you guys are watching me right now, Based on the current trajectory, what they're doing will continue to backfire. I'm going to tell you first sign that this whole rioting situation with their, with their people on the payroll, who's, they're the main ones who are out there burning and destroying. These are not people who care about black lives and equality. They're helping the opposition. They're on payroll. They're on the lower level of these so-called secret orders. And they're just pawns, and when they're done with them, they're going to sacrifice them in some kind of way, just like they do all the others. Okay? So, it's always a payday. you doing any and everything for that fake fiat currency and material gain, all that fleeting crap that's, that's just temporary. You're willing to give up your, your, your soul, your life force, destroying and cursing your bloodline, your grandchildren, and your children for that mess? When if you just simply came into this yourself and live a righteous life, what you get in the long run may not come as easily and quickly, but when you get it, it's yours. You don't have to ever look over your back and worry about anybody taking it. But let me get back to my point. This thing is backfiring because look at this corona. Look at how quick that went on the back burner. And look at, when you look at it, look at how much of the lies and the over-exaggeration and fabrication that has been exposed about that. Because if this was really a real issue the way they painted it, especially when they start saying uh, black people are the number most hit with this, which was straight up BS, there's a lot of falsifying medical records and, you know, associating this to a flu or something else. A lot of that is going on. 
But when they really went on that level, I said, it's just a matter of time. This is BS and the truth will come out. And here it is. Now, if the coronavirus was really what they said it is and was, look at the millions of people, probably billions at this point, all around the world, in close proximity, without masks, now, they're going to come back and try to say there's a rise in it. But truthfully, if there's a genuine rise in it, we should be seeing that being reported as aggressively as what they're reporting, the negative size of these riots. But we don't see that. I know a lot of people. And I know a lot of people who know a lot of people. I don't know not one person who has, been, um, who has gotten sick. Or who has died from it. I'm not saying that it is not real. I've already done a reading on that. You guys go back and look at my first live feed for 2020. I gave my reading in that. What I said then still stands. But they were using that to push an agenda. And they're going to keep coming at it until these people are absolutely taken down. The unfortunate side about it is that when they're taken down, they're going to always be those in the wings who want to take their place. This is just the human, just the nature of mankind. All right? I mean, kind of man, but not quite, and the interdimensional forces that they work for. But the good news is that the playing field is becoming more and more level and then eventually, if you're looking at me, we're heading towards a timeline where racism will be dismantled finally. But they're going to come up with a different kind of prejudice and a different kind of angle to kind of keep some division going. But it's going to, we're heading in a place where it's going to be nowhere near what it was. Again, it's backfiring what they set these things out to do. So in a strange, ironic way, we can kind of thank them. And it reminds me of what the Bible talks about when it says God uses evil men to do what they do, thinking they're doing something for their own selfish gain, but they're really helping a greater divine goal. And I, I've already seen that all of this stuff ultimately is leading towards a divine purpose. Absolutely. It's hard to see it because, again, we're looking at it from these limited bodies and our ego and our, and our personal space. But when you start seeing the bigger, bigger, bigger picture and realize this is not, these bodies are just stations. This is just an aspect. Not saying these experiences that we're getting from these situations are not important because they are. They become a part of our soul matrix. But this is a very minute part of who and what we truly are. These experiences will be the equivalent of a flash in the pan compared to the bigger picture. And it's hard for people to grasp this when you're stuck in this and you think this is all there is. So I'm essentially making this video to you guys to remind you to not trust what is being put presented in the media and in pictures because they're pushing this stuff to the forefront while they're suppressing and hiding away people who bring more balance and more genuine information they're pushing out all this stuff and this is to psychologically and emotionally pull and manipulate your mind because again when we're in a state of anger fear frustration we become far more easier to mentally manipulate we become more disconnected from seeing the bigger picture all right. So I want to say this as well. There are a lot of people who are saying that his death was fake. No, I watched the video. This man was ritualistically killed and it was staged. It was purposefully done and, and, and pushed to show on the media over and over and on the Internet to bring emotions to get us in that primal rage state get us in our lower nature. When you understand that death is an illusion, you can pull back on that. Yes, I get it. I totally get the other side of it. But I, I strongly encourage you guys to please stop letting these people play on your mind and your emotions. There is a way 
to change things without being riled up in your emotions. And truthfully, if you're making decisions in your emotions, you're just going to keep repeating the cycle anyway. You got to get in your mind and you got to connect with the higher self to deal with this. And we do have people who are doing that because they can see it for what it is, but we still don't have quite enough just yet. But that too will come. This brother was absolutely murdered. He didn't know he would be sacrificed. But again, if you join these secret orders and you are at the bottom of the total totem pole, this is what they do. They will sacrifice one of their own for a greater cause, especially when they're of service itself. This is just a fact. I don't see martial law, and let me tell you something. You out, you guys who hate Trump, I, I'm, I'm not a Trump supporter. I don't even play politics, but I know enough about it. I'm really coming to you as a messenger, as someone who's seeing it from an astral perspective. I don't see martial law being played out, and thank goodness we do have Trump because he does see the game for what it is. He sees what's really going on, and he's not going to allow them to use him to do what it is that, uh, or 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 get the people to go against him and basically pressure him to do what they want him to do. He's a lot more clever than you guys think he is. He really is. And he's a lot more aware. And he does have both sides of, um, he has some shady characters in his circle, but he also has righteous people in his circle. The, the, the righteous, just as the shady and the wicked and the demonic, so to speak, have infiltrated every facet of society, so has the righteous. The righteous are now starting to step up. This is why, finally, this, what they wanted to be led to martial law and total chaos, will ultimately lead more people who refuse to see the evils and sickness of racism or any kind of ism or any kind of prejudice. And I want to specifically say this to brown and black people. I still see a lot of prejudice that we are doing to other people who are different from us. And what you guys must understand is you will continue to experience the very same thing you hate if you still all right with it being done to other people. See, that's when you see when you see it from a greater point of view, higher perspective, because the God's looking at it like and the source is looking at it like, well, if you are all right with being hateful and prejudiced towards someone over here because you disagree with their quote-unquote lifestyle or their religion or whatever the case may be, if you are all right doing that and you being discriminatory, then you need to keep on wallowing in where you are because you obviously have not learned any better and you have not learned your lesson. To so-called white people, again, black and white is only a checkerboard, all right? When you, I, when you associate your I am presence to that, you are consenting to being a pawn on the board. So so-called white people, it's time to stop living in denial and ignoring that there is a sickness in this country and that yes, you guys do benefit, but I understand in the game, in this game, you have to have those who win and those who lose. And on a global scale, it just so happened that those who are called white, genetically modified black people who are on the game board being manipulated and moved about on the board. That particular group, it just so happened in this reality to ha be the haves, where the black people are the have not. But then you go to another parallel reality and parallel earth, the same game that's being played, but guess what? The black people are the privileged class and everybody else is underneath them. You see? So both sides are going to continue to stand, repeating over and over, being a slave, being a privilege, being a slave, just switching roles. Remember, these bodies are stationed. Just switching roles, back and forth, one cycle after the next. The, 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 the way out of it, you have to get yourself, move yourself mentally, psychologically off of the board, get rid of isms, prejudices and ego and there you will begin to see what true freedom is all about and what it truly is not just physically but on the other realms as well